Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about a little program called Duas. Now, what is Duas? Duas is an alternative to sudo. So if you don't know what sudo is, I really can't help you because, um, I mean, really, seriously, sudo is the program you use in order to run a uh, command as root. I, mean, I guess that's the easiest way to say it. But really, sudo is this huge, humongous program that is integrated into all Linux systems that controls user permissions, I guess, is the way, best way to put it. Um, and it's very, like I said, it's big. It's uh, The configuration file is a uh, huge mungus, if that's a word. Um, you know, it's hundreds of lines long. Most of those are comments usually. But if you get in there and you have to make a, say you make a new user or something, you'll probably have to add uh, permissions to the sudoers file in order to give that user permission to act as root. Usually, they need root permissions in order to install anything, right? So, the problem with that is if you get into that configuration file and you make a mistake, you could break something. And it's because it's, it's, it's this huge program, it's this huge configuration file, and it's easy to make a mistake. And you really could boink your system. So, and that's a technical term. Boink your system. I'm just, I mean, I'm just putting that out there. So, do as is an alternative to sudo. And... It's a very small program, it's very easy to configure, and we won't actually be spending very much time in this video because it's like I said, it's just a really small program, something that you can use in a, you know, as an alternative to sudo that keeps you from messing around with that sudoers file. And it makes it so that if, you know, if you've messed up do as, you're not going to mess up, your, you're not going to boink your system. So let me show you the GitHub page. This is the GitHub page for Duas. Now, so to install this, you really want to be on Arch Linux because the AUR is awesome. It's in the AUR. You just do yay dash capital S Duas um, or whatever Arch AUR helper you're using. If you're using Paru or whatever that new thing's called, use that. If you're still using Pack AUR or whatever. If you're on another Linux distribution, first of all, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I'm still gonna get a lot of hate for that. Uh, but if you're on another Linux distribution, you'll probably end up having to make the do as code yourself, so using the make command and all that stuff. There are uh, a lot of instructions here on how to install it. You just get clone and you can then make the package. Once you have it installed, what do you have to do? So you can't just use it out of the box. You have to create the the uh, configuration file and it's really fairly easy so let's just jump into a terminal here which I already have one open let's zoom in so that you can actually see something and we'll just clear this out so what you will need to do is do sudo touch and then slash etsy slash duas.com now like I said this file does not exist so that's why we're touching it and last thing is I've, I've already done this uh, I'm not going to do it again and then you just want to do sudo vim etsy slash duas.com and you'll get a prompt for your password. And then you'll get this. Uh, you'll get actually what you'll get is a blank uh, Vim document. And you just have to add this to your to the file. Um, obviously, you'll need to use your own username. So this is mine. So permit my username as root. That's literally it. That's the whole configuration file. You can't mess it up. Now, if you have other users on your computer, you would uh, you'd get into insert mode, create another line, you'd do permit, oops, Joe user as root. And that's what you do. You know, and, and if you wanted to use another, do another permit, uh, Bob user as root. That's all the configuration file there is. Now, I'm obviously, I don't actually have anybody called Joe user uh, so we'll delete these two lines here and quit out of that. And then you just save it. And then you can use do as. So what does using do as look like? So in order to do, do this, I'll need to find a command that actually requires me to use a, that actually requires root permissions. So I'm just going to do the same thing I just did. I'm just going to go do as them slash Etsy do as dot com. I actually got to spell it right. And then it's going to re require a password again, just like sudo would. 
and that's it. And then I could go through and make changes to this read-only file, which requires root pr privileges in order to edit. Uh, I could also do something like this. I could do as uh, pacman dash syy or syyu if I wanted to actually update. And I just do this and do, and then it updates just like sudo would. Now, the one I've only been using this for a little while. One thing I will notice, the one thing that I did notice about this is that it does not remember that you've entered the password. So, like in sudo, if you enter your password once in a terminal session, it won't expire for 10, 15 minutes or something. Not exactly the most secure thing in the world, uh, but it means that you don't have to type your password in over and over again. I think that's called persistence. With do as, you have to enter it each time you use do as. Now, I believe, if I remember right, there is, let's see here, persist, persist, maybe not. Maybe I read this somewhere else. Um, do, do, do. Somewhere here I was reading, I'm gonna get past the installation thing. Create the configuration file. The configuration, do as configuration file is located here. Now, I don't know if this path here would actually work. I did not, inst I did not s install it in slash local Etsy. I just did it in the Etsy file. I'm not sure, but it does seem to work. So to create a rule following the users, let's do this. Please note that the shell script video do as, that's not what I'm look looking at. Somewhere along here, I read that there is a way to enable persistence, but maybe it's here at the top. Okay, I'm back. I cut a whole bunch of like complete silence out of the video there. Um, had to do a little bit more research. So there is a way to make uh, persistence, and there is there are several other things that are interesting about Duez that I didn't actually know before even before I started the video. So I've done a little bit more research. So uh, it'll be good because it'll actually make the video a little bit longer because it was only going to be about five minutes long. Now we're going to make it about 10 minutes long. Anyway, so what you're seeing here is the duez.com man page. Now that in a, alone is a little weird because usually configuration files don't have man pages. Usually a command has a man page. In this case, duez has both. Duez, you can do man duez and it will show you some stuff. And you can do man duez.conf and you, you will get this. And the interesting thing here is there's some things that you can do and, and some things that you'll have to do. So if you are the type of person who runs a GUI command, a GUI program from the command line, you'll have to do a certain thing called keep env. And basically this allows you, allows do as to uh, use environment variables and allows them to launch GUI prop applications as a uh, root. So you, you would have to go through and do that. You can also go through and use this one here, persist after the user has successfully authenticates, do not ask for a password again for some time. Uh, I don't think I'm looking here. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to go do actually is go through and edit mine and see how that persistence works. So let's just quit on this and I'm going to do do as uh, and then them at and, and enter this here. And then I'm just going to do uh, permit. Ooh, persist, Matt. Good Lord. Persist. Persist. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to actually go ahead and do uh, keep and as well. Right, and quit this, and we can close this now. Actually, I'm going to quit this to it, re and then just do as, and then do Pacman dash syu. That's because I didn't spell it right. <sighs> there we go. So that still works out really well. I wanted to make sure I didn't break it. Now, let me see if I can do do as uh, them. Yes, so persist is working. That I know I don't know how you can control how long it remembers your password, uh, but I'm assuming there's a way. 
Now, the last thing I want to try, I want to try that keep end part. I want to run a program as administrator. Like, um, I don't know. This is literally called Blue Man Manager. Okay. Oops. So if I do do as Blue Man Manager. All right, so that keep end actually did not work. I'm probably doing it wrong. But that just kind of goes to show you there are options. So it's not as simple as I was originally making it out to be. There are things that you can do to it. But if we just do do as, um, go back into this here again. I'll zoom back in so you can see. It's still way simpler than, you know, managing a sudoers file. And that's... That's, I think, the whole point of this. So, the whole point is to make it simpler so that you don't make mistakes when editing who who has root access to your computer. Because if you make a mistake, you can either, as I said before, you can either boink your computer so it doesn't work, uh, boink your users so, so it doesn't work, um, or you could potentially open up a security nightmare onto your computer where pretty much anyone has root access. Say so you add every group on your computer to the sudoers file, that means everyone on your computer has complete root access to everybody else's files. That'd be a nightmare. Um, it could also, you know, open up root access to some Joe Schmo on the internet who's somehow managed to get access to your network. You could literally do anything in the sudoers file if you don't know what you're doing. And it's easy to not know what you're doing because nobody knows what they're doing when it comes to the sudoers file unless you've used Linux for years and years and years and you've, you're always messing around with it. Do as is just very simple. It's not hard. It's not easy to mess up. I'll, it's just just the way it is. Um, the last thing I want to actually cover before before I go is how do you remember to use do as? Because I mean, everyone's probably got pseudo as a muscle memory kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to a add a uh, an alias. So I'm going to open up my zsh now. If you're a bash user, you'd want to open up your bash rc file. If you're using fish, you'd want to open up your fish rc, fish fish.conf file, I guess. I think it's fish.conf, but either way, chances are if you've switched to a different shell, you'll know where your configuration file is. Mine is a, a zshrc file. And what, what I'm going to do is just add an alias here alias, and then sudo equals do as. And that's literally all I'm going to do here. That's as simple as it gets. That's how you would add it. You can do the same thing, in like like I said, in Bash and Fish. It's just an alias. And this way, when I go through and do, you know, let's quit this, reopen up a, a, a terminal. If I do sudo, it's going to be the same thing. See, it says I'm running do as here, and I just do. A, I'm actually going to have to remember how to enter my password because I'm dumb. And that's how you do it. Very simple. And that way, you're using DoS every time, and sudo isn't being called onto your computer. Now, somebody's going to ask, can I remove sudo from my computer? The answer is probably yes. I'm sure there's a way to rip sudo out of your computer and not have it on there bloated or whatever. Don't do that. You're going to come across some application where DoS does not work, or maybe DoS you know, gets broken or whatever, uh, and you're going to need sudo. Now, do as is great because most rec uh, fairly recently there was a sudo like security flaw. Do as probably wouldn't have that, but it's good to have both. I think you know, this is just my opinion, and there may not even be a way to remove sudo, but I'm sure there is. Like you can remove pretty much anything from Linux that you want to use to, to remove. But keep them both just in case. You know, sudo doesn't hurt anything. You just use do as because it's easier to configure and all that stuff. Anyways, so that is it for this video. If you uh, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You can support the channel by subscribing uh, or by uh, hitting the thumbs up or thumbs down button, which I've already told you to do or asked you to do, I suppose. Uh, uh, you can also support the channel by like us, liking us on f Facebook or following us on Twitter. And you can also support the channel the channel by going to patreon.com slash linuxcast and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you the next time